Greetings, brothers and sisters, family and friends. I'm the Minister of Wellness, Nathaniel Jordan. In today's segment, I want to announce, I hate to burst your bubble, but Subway's not healthy. I've been telling you all this for years. Subway is not healthy, and they're under lawsuit right now. That a, a test found that there's no tuna DNA inside their tuna sandwiches. And even if it was, that would be a bad thing because you shouldn't be eating fish. And don't you listen, don't you listen to anybody telling you to eat that toxic fish. They're going to put you on a death train. Don't listen to them. They're letting their food addiction self-sabotage their common sense. Fish is more, more toxic than pork. And as a matter of fact, for most of you all overweight, obese, do not listen, especially don't listen to an overweight person telling you to eat meat. I don't care how clean or halal your meat is. Don't listen to them, especially if they're overweight. If they're ripped and fit and then they convince you to still keep that animal in your eating style, well, I have other reasons why that doesn't apply to you. And that's why you need to be a member of the website, theministerofwellness.com, where I have a lot more detailed teachings and so forth for you. After a class action lawsuit was filed against Subway in January, alleging that his tuna was fake, New York Times launched an investigation on whether the allegations were true or false. In the article, journalist Julia Cormo wrote that she used commercial lab that could test a sample of tuna from different sandwiches across California subways. Carmel found herself on the phone with a spokesperson for a lab that specialized in fish testing. He agreed to test the tuna, but he asked for the lab not to be named in the article because he didn't want to jeopardize his opportunity. That's the problem. People don't want to speak the truth because they're always scared that by speaking the truth, they don't want to be persecuted. But what does the word teach? We're going to be persecuted for righteousness sake, brothers and sisters. So they did the test and the lab after a month of testing, the results came in. The lab told her that there were two conclusions. Either the meat was too heavily processed to be identified. Wow. Wow. It was so processed. So beat down, misconstrued, so discombobulated, so Frankenstein-like that it could not even be identified. And you still think it's fresh? Or there was simply no tuna DNA to begin with. But there are other factors to consider, including the fact that once tuna is cooked, the DNA becomes denatured, which could make it uh, difficult to identify a fish's characteristics. So there are some arguing that DNA is testing is simply not a reliable way to identify denatured proteins like Subway's tuna, which is cooked before it was tested. But a class action lawsuit filed in the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California, they allege that based on independent lab tests of multiple samples taken from Subway locations, the tuna is a mixture of various concoctions that do not constitute tuna. And so people are suing Subway, saying that we paid money for a product that you all didn't deliver on. But what I'm saying, I'm just using this as a backdrop to teach you to stay away from all of these fast food death shacks. We want to buy our own ingredients and make our own food from scratch. That'll take you, that'll, that alone will make a world of a difference. And then, of course, the best, best way, the true old paths where the good way is, is that we grow everything before we consume it. That's the true old paths that we have completely lost, the true ways of our ancestors that have been lost in this wicked culture. But we have to return to it. So it's not, it's not fresh, brothers and sisters, and you can easily Google and research to get more information about this. I talk about, I go into a lot more information on these topics, a lot of uncensored, unfiltered information that you're missing. If you want to see a lot more of my videos and my content, join our website, theministerofwellness.com for much more hard hitting news. Theministerofwellness.com. While you're there, I have everything you need to get healthy. Whether you need to detox, I have everything you need to get healthy. With detox, weight loss, whatever you need. Lose 100 pounds in 100 days book and other books, DVDs, high quality supplements, herbal extracts, visit the minister of wellness.com and shop today for yourself and your loved ones. We are open Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. 
26 Monday through Friday 11 a.m. 7 p.m. Central Standard Time even if you're not calling to purchase if you need any assistance I don't care if it's prayer I don't care if, if it's coaching we offer coaching services too. give us a call 888-847-8026 and God said behold I have given you every plant yielding seed upon the face of the whole earth and every tree that produces fruit with seed in it it shall be food for you. Shalom.